page 62 rain dance this is an etude there are a lot of etudes in this book that's okay and this is for the left hand alone so you can let your right hand rest a bit and we get to exercise the left hand there is a lot of piano music written for left hand alone you find it in various places if you look around so here let's just talk about it. four four time no sharps or flats C major or A minor look at the end you're here down here you're ending on here I'm guessing it's an A, a minor I'd say one hand at a time but there's only one hand so let's just go for it you're starting here A and E and the left hand is playing all of this in both stabs here They're giving you the finger and you're in this position. You just you got one rest, one measure, one beat, one something to come up here and one, two, three, and four. During that rest, you come back down here. Then another rest to come back up here. And this time you got to go all the way up here with you got an A with a little G sharp in front of it. That is called a grace note, and there's different ways of interpreting these grace notes. In this piece, you play them pretty much at the same time and just let let up on the A or on the G sharp here, and then come down. Now here, you, there's no rest or anything here. Reach down if you can, because it's an A, it's an octave to the next note is here. That's it. So just reach down if you can. And then you got a, a quarter rest, come down here and do the same thing here. And then reach down. And then a, a quarter rest to come back down here. Now they're saying. This is tricky on the fourth line down. Let's look at this. This is all right. But now they want you to move up here. And again, move up. It's, you're in the, these positions. And it's basically the same notes. And then the last line, you're here. And then the last two measures, you're down here, here, and then down here, in this position. You're ending here. That's an A, that last note. So you're moving all over the place. Get the notes all legato as best you can with your left hand, and then we can go back and add in these staccatos. And act. you have see these little lines underneath the half notes at the beginning? Those are tenuto lines. You hang on to those as long as possible. Some people will treat two neutral lines like accents. A long time ago, they under they were, did represent a type of accent. I wasn't taught they were necessarily accents. They could be, but you don't need them. Just hang on to them. Make sure you don't play these short. Just, and then short, wrist staccato, and try and play them all the same loudness. I haven't talked about dynamics yet, but whatever the dy dynamic is going to be, get these, make these the same loudness. And it's hard to do when you're using a different technique. Cause and then come up, and these are staccato, and then legato. Now in that last measure of the first line, here, here, ending us the slur. And then staccato. Don't connect those two notes. Separate them slightly. It's the C is not real short. It's not. A, it's not a, a staccato like the other notes. But separate. Just lift up a little bit. And then you got the staccatos. And the last note is accent. See, so if you look at the accents, you got an accent on the D in the next to the. You hear? There, that's an accent. Give that a little extra. Just a wrist staccato on these. And that last one, you get a little extra. It's an accent. And then you come back down to new toe again, connect these, then staccato. And then 
come back up, but staccato accent. Now they give you a, a staccato mark. It's not what they did on the first line. Now maybe it was an error and they meant to give you a staccato on the first line. I don't know. But I kind of like it when it's different. So I'm saying there's no staccato on that C in the first line, but there is in the second. So you, you play it short. And an accent. So again, the last two measures of the second line. Accent. Accent. And then you're up here. They're tenuto connectum and they're very loud. FF is fortissimo for very loud up here. The fingers you use is up to you. It's up to, I like two and three because again, the thumb is a short finger and I don't have to reach as far. Don't lean when you do this. Mm, you turn the torso and you reach up. And connect them. And then here. If you use two and three, then you need to get your thumb on it after you play it so you can reach the A down here. You're going to lift up between them, here to here. Lift up like between a slur. Rest again. Lift up. Rest. And then we're back here, staccatos. Accent. 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 And there's no staccato here. So you separate it, but don't play it short. Accent the last note as best you can. It's a little finger. And then you come in here. These two new tones, loud. And down here, two new tones, connect them, and then accent. And that last note, it, hold that out a full beat. Don't cut it short. I sort of did dynamics there. The thing is more or less loud all the way through. It's sort of loud here. You have to decide what that is. So we got sort of loud, and we got loud, and we got very loud. You have to decide what those are. And then whatever it is, it be consistent within the piece. It may change from piece to piece, but be consistent within the piece. So this is sort of loud. Sort of loud. Accent. Then in the third line, now you're very loud. Now just loud. Now you back down to sort of loud. is the accent makes it go up a dynamic level. So this is sort of loud, but that note, accented note is loud. You get the idea. And then the last line is loud all the way through. As far as how loud or how fast it goes, it doesn't say expressively means nothing to me as far as speed goes. So it's an etude. How, how fast can you play it accurately and controlled where everything is where it needs to be? A rain dance? I don't know. When you're moving around like this, you have to watch it because the beat goes on. Whatever it is, you don't hesitate. So slow it down if you have to until you can get it learned. I like to play it with you very, very slowly to double check the notes and the rhythms. So I'm not going to do any dynamics. I'm not going to play it really loud. And we are going to go pretty slow here. That gives four counts. One, two, three, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Rest two four. Rest.
chest. Two. Four. Rest. Rest.